this is the the way in which data is shared through society is changing radically. So um, I think there'll always be a place for academic journals, but we need to think that if we want our science to have impact, we actually need to be uh, interacting in ways where the vast majority uh, of future consumers will be engaging. I learn more from social media these days, certainly, than reading newspapers or, or any other form of, uh, of media. But also I'm often alerted to quite interesting journal articles through social media. I use Twitter for sort of immediate engagement, tracking an issue that's running in the media and quickly bringing our research to a wider audience. If there is something where you're working collaboratively with a bigger bunch of people either within CDU or more broadly, then tools like Facebook are really useful because they're interactive, they're more social, people spend more time on them. And then there's some more formal professional networks like LinkedIn, uh, where you can join very important groups, um, disciplinary groups or subject matter groups of people working all around the world on a particular issue. Well, and I certainly use ResearchGate to uh, get alerted to interesting papers being published in the more formal scientific literature that I may not have come across otherwise. It's very useful to think about how uh, through social media you can build up a much richer uh, profile as an individual academic and not just about your research outputs but about the influence of those research outputs.